we're going to look at a special type of oscillation called simple harmonic motion. For a body or an object to oscillate, a force is needed, and this force must be directed towards the equilibrium position, so the position of the oscillation when it's at rest, so it's zero displacement. And this force is called a restoring force, as it's trying to restore, bring the oscillation back to the equilibrium position. If the oscillation is simple harmonic, then the restoring force must be proportional to negative displacement. The reason why we have the negative sign is to indicate that the force is acting towards the equilibrium position, or say it is in the opposite direction of the displacement. Displacement x is measured away from the equilibrium position, and force f is acting towards the equilibrium position. So we know F equals MA, so if force is directly proportional to negative displacement and force is directly proportional to acceleration, then acceleration must be proportional to negative displacement. So we define simple harmonic motion as an oscillation where the acceleration is directly proportional to negative displacement. To get this into an equation, we need to introduce a constant, a proportionality constant, and in this case, it's the angular frequency squared. So A will equal minus angular frequency squared times the displacement. We know the angular frequency equals 2 pi f, so this becomes the equation for simple harmonic motion for the restoring acceleration acceleration acting on an oscillation as the angular frequency that is 2 pi f is a constant for a given oscillation then that means the period and frequency are a constant for a given oscillation and so period and frequency are independent of the amplitude of the oscillation if we were to double the amplitude then the average acceleration would double and as acceleration is equal to the rate of change velocity then the average velocity would double so the oscillation would cover twice the distance with twice the velocity and so that means it will cover one complete oscillation in the same period if we were to plot a graph of the acceleration against the displacement, we'd get a straight line through the origin but with a negative gradient. So the straight line through the origin tells us then the acceleration is directly proportional to the displacement and the negative gradient telling us, giving us the minus sign. So the acceleration is proportional to negative displacement. As our acceleration a is along the y-axis and our displacement x is along the x-axis, then the gradient of this line is given by the minus times the square of 2 pi f or minus omega squared.